Welcome to Frequently Speaking, where we break down the vibrations of what we speak outwardly and how that creates what we frequently see. In today's episode, we're going to delve into discernment of choice and decision. So as we go through the day and we communicate with others, we go through a lot of communication through our auditory sense. So you hear it, this person is saying it. So it's a receiver and a transmitter, right? So a lot of times we tend to forget that another person is another perception. Just like we have our perception and we receive in words, we give it out a different way and it's perceived a different way. So with the discernment of two different words that really do sound the same and can definitely get confused with one another, if we take into consideration another person's perspective, this can possibly be true that the same instance in the same state of what you guys are talking about is the same. It means the same thing, but if I have a different view on it and if I grew up with always feeling like I was made, I had to make a decision or somebody was giving out that tone like, oh, make a decision, make a decision, make a decision. That's how I feel about that. You may have been raised in a different way of seeing as, hey, you know, you have a choice to do X, Y, and Z. You know, and if you're given that choice, then you have a different relationship with this word. So a lot of times our perception deals with the relationships of our senses. So it's about how we take in those vibratory senses, how we give off those vibratory senses. And the only way that we're experiencing it and seeing it is through that speaking. So let's take decision. If I feel like you are giving me a decision to make and I have a negative connotation on what that what that word stirs up for me, it may stir up some negative, you know, emotions, some negative thoughts or a negative perceiving. So I may look at you in a way of like, well, who the fuck are you to give me a decision, you know? And you could be on the other hand, looking at as it is, is like, I just want to give you a choice because I have an open thought process to you. I have an open willingness and that's what I want to give to you is I want to give you a choice here. But a lot of times misconception and miscommunication comes within a translation. So if I'm translating a choice to you, but you're taking it back in as this person is giving me a decision, then we don't really see that there's like a consistent flow. There is a discord. You're rocking on this vibration. This person's rocking on this vibration. So just having an understanding of the way you can look at something that is something that is constant here and it's the same constant here. These two words give you the same meaning, but if my perceivance is coming at it as you're giving me a decision to make, I could also say, okay, this person is giving me a decision to make, but I still get it. I'm still here on that wavelength with you, but it's a matter of understanding and how I understand that some people weren't raised like me or some people don't have the same perception like me you know you can take that word and transmute that energy just by understanding another person's perspective so it's not necessarily that there's a right or a wrong down the middle that this way is only the right way or this way is only the right way it comes with an understanding and once you can understand the duality that this is a constant equal. I know that these two words mean the same thing. I know that what you're trying to give me is a decision. And it's also, you could be saying it as a choice. I get it, I get it, I get it. But as human beings have an initial response to everything. Somebody tells you something, you have a little emotional reaction. Now that's the difference between reaction and response, but that's for another day. The way we take these words and we start to understand that they do have a different meaning. Let me look at this in a different light. And it's not necessarily saying that you have to change this. Like you have to change this way of thinking or 
just by you coming down here on this vibe and seeing it as a choice. Okay, I see it as a choice, but that's not what you meant. You know, instead of jumping right back to it, see it, understand it, accept that this person has that perspective and you're able to bring that energy back and send it straight back to them on that same frequency that you were on. So it feels like, yes, this is me and this is my true self and I am coming at you with an understanding and a response rather than a reaction. So I say that to say, when we're looking at different words, take a second, two seconds, maybe even three, to understand that, okay, what is my initial response here for this, for the way that I'm intaking this information and the way I'm receiving this vibratory communication? Accept that you have that perspective of, hey, you know what, this is, I feel like you're giving me a decision right now. And understand and accept that that is an emotional response from you. Let it sit for a second, open your mind to another person's perspective and saying, okay, well, I know this person and I'm taking in consideration exactly how they are, how they normally are, how they normally feel. So if this is an unsettling feeling, let me check this and see what's up. Maybe they mean it in a different way. Open your mind to a different perspective rather than just only singularly seeing your perspective. Not necessarily changing it, but you can look at that and take it in for exactly as they are. Not how you are, but as they are, because that's just an interpretation. And then settle on what your choice or your decision is to make as far as expressing that back to them. You know, a lot of times if a person comes to us with a choice, they, if they are genuinely a good person and you know that this person is in your life, you know, this person's in your life for a reason, they're fantastic, you love everything you're saying, but whoa, what are you saying right now? Are you giving me a decision to make? No, no, no. We will not do that. So, as you take that in, you say, hey, they're not even about that life. Maybe they're giving me a choice. How should I take this? Let me take all that in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, and send it right back to you the same way it came. But just a little bit of eh on it. In understanding somebody's perspective, you don't necessarily have to change yours. You do not have to change. You can adapt and be open and understanding something and respect it for what it is, but do not accept it into your person. I am just frequently speaking though. So when we look at this dynamic of choice and decision, and we're having that conversation with ourselves, we have to really understand what our discernment and what our feeling and our relationship with this word and this word is because that's going to determine what our perspective is on life that's going to make the big difference of whether you're going to get up and get out and go do something about what you've always wanted to do what you wrote down what you promised yourself before or if you're going to look at it in a perception and say well i have a choice i mean we all have a choice and I, whatever choice i choose i'm going to be okay with it that's the big difference between when you're finding that motivation or you're finding that discipline or you're finding that that gusto to do whatever you need to do or if you're looking at it in a passive way rather than in an active way so let's take a person that is that has a poor diet um, lack of motivation maybe anxiety maybe uh, I don't believe in anxiety, it's a psychosomatic disorder, but don't worry, we're going to talk about that later. They may have overweight problems, they may have, you know, social conditioning, which we all have because everybody knows that we out there doing X, Y, and Z because this person might see it or that person might see it or trying to flex for the next person and stop it. And all these other little different things that set the tone for who you are, right? So as this individual, you're going through life in this direction and you're coming into all these different wavelengths of things that boom, hit you, boom, hit you. So if I take these in and I mark one saying, hey, you know what, um, I really love to 
help you get on your path to becoming a geologist. Great, I'm gonna see that as a choice or a decision. Now, if I have a, the mental skill to say, hey, you know what, this is an opportunity that I've always been waiting for, and I've always wanted to be ge a geologist, and I'm gonna jump off that cliff and go do it. That is a decision. You are marking that as a decision. This is gonna be you deciding whether your life is going in one direction or it's going in another direction. So the difference in perceptive, if we're taking it in as a choice, I may look at it as, okay, this person wants to help me on this, on my path to something I've always wanted to do. Uh, but you know, I have, I have this to do and actually like I have work right now, but so I can't really go to this interview and it's right now and blah, blah, blah. And you start to think of it as, okay, it's a choice whether I'm gonna stay on this streamed path because you start taking into consideration all these other factors that are in your life and is in your current state. Your current state can't dictate your future state. If you are choosing that and you're settling into that, you may think of it as a choice. So you mark that thing as a choice. Okay, this is the choice I have to make. I have to decide whether I'm gonna stay on this constant steady stream or if I'm gonna create another stream for myself as to where I wanna go. So there are a lot of ways we can perceive how we go into the world just by our relationship with different words. So if I have an open perspective and I'm still going through my life and I'm still steadily moving on that on that pace and I come in contact with two of the, with these two situations and I come in contact with this situation where it's posing, it's steady, it's giving me an opportunity right there. That is where I have a fork in the road in my path this little conjuncture right here that's where i have that fork in the road and it hits me and i'm either going to make a choice or i'm going to make a decision now life gives us choices we are that is our destiny we have our life choice and that's it but it doesn't only solely go towards that it's about the awareness that when you get to this point you are a person that is open-minded enough to look at it in different perspectives and that provides you with so many more opportunities as to wherever you want to go in life and you're not solely focused and limited to this one trajectory that is completely linear if you have an open mind and an understanding of a different perception on how this dot and how this instance is coming into your life and you're like okay i can look at this like a choice i can look at this as a decision now who is the person that i want to be to make that decision Life is gonna present choices, but it's about getting to that point and having the courage to make a decision. And that is gonna open your life up to so many more possibilities. It opens up and it spreads out your refracted light as you are as a human being. If you have a closed mind, you are on a fixed point of view going straight forward. If you have that closed mind and you're just thinking as anything is just a choice or something is sub-level to anything that I am, you are closing that frame of view for your light to actually burn through as you go through your existence. Because this is the measurement of time. Cool. Don't get me started on time because this shit's in, that shit was invented. But anyway, <laughs> but as we are going through in time in this direction, we have these instances come into us and they come into our life. And all we are is making ourselves aware of it. So in opening our perspective and opening our senses to these other perceptions of how these instances can be discerned and transmuted into our body, we can begin to start frequently speaking a different language. Our body has a lot of senses. So it's just as much output as just as much input. But the difference is there's a duality. There's a out and an in. So that's a positive and a negative. So every instance and every occurrence is getting bounced off and reverted back to you. And as we take ourselves as we are, we are light beings. Whether you believe it or not, we are made up of light because people can see us. Anything you can see is materialized. It's matter. It's 
light being refracted off of something that's why you see something in black you see something in white that's why i used all these different colors so you can make a discernment as to this is one thing that's one thing and you put a correlation to it us as human beings we love to objectify things so it gives us a better understanding of who we are as an existence going through and how you are going through with these instances that you come into with life so as we look into these different words and these different perspectives we need to understand that we are a being of tuning we are pulling in and pulling out we are constantly vibrating at a high frequency so as we raise that frequency and open up that trajectory of life you can shine brighter understand yourself your perspective to what you give out auditory expression or a verbal expression or a visual expression and make sure that we speak all of our different languages of this human that is actually being frequently speaking smile out loud embrace your soul